Giving kids a space to grow can really help them build confidence. Yeah, there are a couple of camps happening in Maine this week to help them do just that. News and Rain's Caroline LaCour introduces us to the Hardy Girls. Being a kid in an adult world isn't always easy. That's why this week nonprofit the Hardy Girls is working with youth across the state to equip and empower the next generation to become powerful thinkers and go getters. <laughs> That's the sound of being authentically you and doing it boldly. One of the biggest takeaways from the Hardy Girls annual conferences for young girls and non-binary youth. They are allowed to speak up and be loud and bossy and just run the world. Entirely run by high schoolers on the Feminist Action Board, Hardy Girls teach their peers topics they wish someone had taught them when they were younger. Girls, especially and non-binary youth, are facing a lot of social pressures, right? This is when they're like developing their social identities. Yes. You're making one for me? Yeah. From self-expression and building confidence to getting involved in activism and creating healthy relationships, the goal is teaching kids their minds matter. We want to make them feel like they belong and that their voice has an impact because it does. This year is Emily Carlton's 10th year returning to the program, now as a conference leader before growing up with the program. She says being able to pass on that confidence to the next generation is why she comes back each year. One kid said, I didn't know we could do the same as men and boys until today. The world is theirs and they can change it, shape it, create it in whatever way they choose to. Conference leaders tell me they're expecting to see hundreds of attendees join in for the BU Boldly conferences this year, which will be held again today in Waterville and tomorrow in Portland. Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine.